Morrell Park is my community. 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 Morrell Park is my Water is something that people, animals, and plants need, and and every and every uh, molecule of water it has uh, uh, oxygen and hydrogen in it. Water can be found in the solid, liquid, and gas. There is 3% of fresh water on Earth, but 2% is locked away in glaciers and or underground, and that 1% is the fresh water, that the fresh drinking water. You can go a few weeks without food, but only a few days without water. A watershed is an area of land that sheds like rainfall or snow melts to creeks, rivers, and streams, and it will all eventually end up in the ocean. Natural watersheds are made of uh, water, sloping land, rocks and gravel, soil, sand, uh, plants, trees, and uh, shrubs. We live in the Delaware River watershed, but we also live in a sub-watershed called the Pua, the Pua Quessing water, the sub watershed. Not all water like flows directly to the ocean because like when we talk about forest surfaces, when it rains on forest surfaces, it like soaks in to the ground or like dry ground and when it rains it will soak in or it is. A impervious surface is a hard surface that does not allow water to soak into the ground or will greatly reduce the amount of water that's into the ground. Philadelphia has shaped the course of water by it by using pipes to pump um, water for fire and cleaning? Well, a lot of people litter and they made impervious uh, surfaces so when it rains, water can't, uh, can't soak into the ground so it can go into groundwater. So, the, the runoff, every time it rains, it takes all the trash and then it will run off into the, into the sewers and then it will pollute the water. First I learned like how the water comes down and then if we have like the, thing, like the grass on top then the water will come down on it and then it will save much water from coming down the sewers and from all the and then it will save this it will save like the rivers from getting polluted and everything. Green infrastructure is something in Philly where we plant things on roofs and stuff and we Use like rain barrels and plant more trees, so the water so the water gets soaked in, and it decreases the amount of floods in Philly. It's really kind of cold out here. I couldn't really just walk around it, but here we are. I see watershed. That's my group, so that's my t-shirt, you have to see that. And I've got my pins on, and we'll talk about those in a couple minutes. So you can see what happens, exactly like what he was saying, you know? Just see if it's, it's clogging, or if it's not clogged and the water's flowing nicely, see how it flows in, it's really rather interesting. I noticed... Um, how long have I been working for like the water department? That's a great question. So I, I would say 17 years. 17 years. Some may say that's a long time, some may say that's not very long, but 17 years. When, I, when I first heard the, the word watershed, the first thing I thought of was a shed full of water. You're not the first person who said that. So do you hear say, when we have it to ask students or people to define what is a watershed, often we get, is it a building?
that. Morrell Park is my community. I envision my community on Earth being friendly and clean. The land will be so grand that when tourists survive, they will have their breath taken. It will be so spectacular with clear water and no trash on the landscape. Roofs will be turned into green roofs with solar panels and rain barrels. The exterior of people's houses will have gardens. And in my utopia, all civilians will be doing their job and caring about everybody and slowly changing the way we live. I will be a volunteer, a father, an engineer, and an environmentalist. The buildings will look like schools, stores, businesses, and houses with rain barrels and solar panels. I will see people riding bikes, walking, or using scooters. I see fewer cars and more nature walks. Morrell Park is my community. I envision my schoolyard community and city to be a green place with clean streets and environmentally safe place. Morrell Park is my community. I envision my community having an immense amount of green and probably a pond added to, into it. There would be kids playing with each other, having fun, admiring the pond. Land will of course be green. There would be a lot of wildlife. I see people not littering and picking up the trash in the creek instead of throwing it on the ground. My role in this community will be helping the neighborhood and planting flowers. And I'll start cleaning groups. And during the winter when it's cold, I would make plans for the environment. I made a 3D simulation of what my vision is for our school. In my vision, I've created these little devices to move back and forth, planting seeds and sprinkling water. I'm hoping to participate in this in the solution. This is my 3D simulation. Morrell Park is my community. I envision my community being more green and clean. It will have more greenery and be clean and safe. The buildings will have plants, grass, and flowers on the roof. Morrell Park is my community. I envision my community as healthy, clean, safe, and peaceful. In short words, eco-friendly. Land will be green and the schools will have eco-friendly schoolyards. Help the buildings will have roof, rooftop and wall gardens and be clean. People would be actually throwing their trash and waste bins instead of throwing it wherever.